Assalamu alaikum jamaa. Barka and good as well. I would have continued in Hausa. But there, but there are a few people here who don't speak Hausa at all. I'm very pleased to be here with you today. At, at this special summit on the girl child, girl child education, women empowerment, and eradication of drug abuse. In commemoration of the Women's Day 2022. I'm especially pleased to see that all the discussions have been conducted in Hausa. Badogo Turenji. Ba. Badogo Njawabi. This is not elite women talking to each other. When number Taruni, the Peter Twin Ambu, who's also Tatel Nadi Junior Suba. This is women talking to women. When Taruni in the matter, Zasuma, young one Sumata, Jawabi. But this occasion has also helped me to find out amongst those I work with, those who do not speak Hausa well. Uh, so now I know those who speak Hausa well and those who do not. But let me emphasize just one point. The education of girls is important for every nation, every country. The poorest countries of the world are those who have low rates of education of women. All rich countries, whether they are small or large, have over 80% of their women educated. Nigeria has an almost equal number of men and women. If we do not intentionally educate women, it means that we are not educating half of our population. There is no way we can get out of poverty if half of our population is uneducated. And we also know that if a woman is educated, She's not likely to be poor. If you educate a woman, you educate the whole family. Because an educated woman will at least educate her children. But just listening to you today has been so inspiring and encouraging. And I'm so proud to be in the company of exceptional women. Walking, exceptional women who are walking in the strides of Amazons. Like Sarawnia Amina of Zauzo. Nana Asma Usman Damfudio. The Nana Asma Udiyarshio Usman Damfudio. Ladi Kuali and many others. The Ladi Kuali the Ere Ere Ensu the Dama. It's also uplifting to see women and girls taking charge of their affairs. Kuma abim farin chiki neganiye dea ramata suka jajir chiyo wajang gudanar da al amura rayorsu. And creating paths for the development of others. 
you deserve all the commendation for your sacrifices in providing support for your families and for one another in spite of the challenges you have faced in life. Kun cancanci ya ba war kowa da kowa akan sadaukar da kanku da kuka yi wajen tallafa wa iyalanku da junanku duk da kuma matsalolin rayuwa da kuka fuskanta. I'm amazed by some of the challenging journeys and experiences that have been shared today. A yau nayi matukar mamaki jin irin kalubalen da wasunku suka fuskanta. Stories of selfless service. Labaru na rashin son kai. Resilience. The Julia. Great generosity and hope. The current chi the father. Women overcoming major obstacles every step of their path to success. Mata waɗanda suka yi nasarar kauce wa manyan kalubale a kokarin su na samun nasara. For me the takeaway here is hope. A gani na wannan abin da yafi muhimmanci a yau shine kyakkyawar fata. We listen to Hajia Habiba Lawa. Yanzu muka permanent secretary ecological project fund. Yanzu muka saurari labarin Habiba Ummu Lawal babban secretary mu ta asusun ayyukan kulawa da muhalli. Who just narrated some of the difficulties she encountered along the way. The ire ire matsalolin da ta fuskanta. But she now has attained the highest ranking position any civil servant could attain. Gashi kuma yanzu ta cin magirma matsayi da duk ma'aikacin gwamnati zai iya kai. She even served at a time as the acting secretary to the government of the federation. Ta ma taba zama secretaryar gwamnatin tarayya ta Rikon Kwariya. In my in my office, the lady that you see here today. A office ina ita wannan wadda take a nan. Balkisu who is here. Balkisu who is here. Balkisu gane nan. She grew up in Minannata in Sokoto. Ta tashi ne a ungwar Minannata a jihar Sokoto. She was married off at the age of 13. An yi mata aure tana da shekara 13. And had her first child at the age of 14. But today she's an associate professor of law. And she has been my advisor on legal affairs for the past six years. We're all inspired by your determination to rewrite history. To make the best use of the hand dealt to you in order to create meaningful lives. Using education as a tool ta hanyar yin amfani da ilimi a matsayin tubalin samun cigaba it's so important for us to bear in mind yana da muhimmanci gare mu mu tuna that we must ensure that education is a tool mu tabbatar da cewa mun yi amfani da ilimi a matsayin tubalin ilimi ya maji jim ciki ne ilimi ya maji jim ciki ne I'm also encouraged that with the experiences you have acquired, you are now in you are now well equipped to, to champion the causes that will better the lives of others. And ensure that women live productive lives in dignity where their potentials can be freely explored. The exceptional courage and determination exhibited by the champions who, who have shared their stories today to galvanize us all to action. Action in leveling the playing field and Aiki. allowing talents to emerge. Action in eliminating barriers that hinder the progress of women. Action in 
action in ensuring gender equity and equality and social inclusion action in equipping girls and women and preparing them for a life of independence. Do, do we have time? Ensuring the preservation of their dignity. Dama Akanji Mutunchi Madarani. Dama Akanji Mutunchi Madarani. I congratulate you all. In Atea Kumurna. And I thank you for this honor. In Aimukugodia Kawan and Girmamawa. As I also wish you. A happy, happy Women's Day. In a moku parka the runner mata te dunia. Mata imbaku bagida. I also thank all the organizers of this great event. In a kumo godia gaduka wat and the sukashiri wandan taro. God bless you all. Allah itemikyo kubaiti there.